Fighting game lovers, yes, we have to talk about this. We have to talk about Project L. Take it one step at a time. Riot Games, who's developing Project L, kind of a game where we have been kind of kept in the dark for quite some time, are finally getting details, more gameplay, mechanic breakdowns, and so much more. Finally, I'm not just a fighting game creator, I'm a fighting game lover, and I've been looking forward to this for so long. So if you're excited for Project L as much as I am, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let's jump right into the dirty details of the devs duo gameplay they showcase here. So I, I have it turned down because they, they kind of talk during it, but, uh, but the game itself first thing i want to note here as we kind of go along this gameplay is first of all look at this look how awesome look how beautiful this looks i i, I actually really enjoy and really, i think it's really cool the, uh, the kind of art style the aesthetic that they're going for for their stages their characters like this looks like a standard fighting game ui obviously we have the health up top and the first thing you guys might notice if you don't know yet uh project l is a 2v2 fighting game and not not 2v2 in the sense of you know there's four of you on screen fighting each other you know 2v2 it's a it's a it's kind of a tag team kind of game so for those those of you know kind of remember Mortal Kombat 9, you could tag in your you know your friend or whatever. Uh, but uh, this is kind of taken just like that. So you could tag in your opponent and do combos with your friend. So you could be playing, I think it's Darius and tag in Echo and do combos that way. And the cool thing about that, because you see here, player one, player two, three, and four. So you, ha you have your own health part individually. I'm assuming these bars are for other stuff, special moves, supers, or whatever, because we have the bars down here as well. And then these icons right here, I think they're called fuels or something like that they're basically extra power-ups you can give your team during the fight which is also really sick but anyways so 2v2 what that means is not only you can if you want to you can control your whole team you know just you you control both characters and you create your own combos and do what you want with your characters or the cooler part that i think is better is you can play with a friend not just against a friend so really you can practice combos and characters and team ups with a friend of yours and say hey i'm gonna pop up in the air when they're up there i'm gonna tag you in and before they land you come in and you finish the combo when you're done tag me back in like that just sounds so sick so here's the gameplay we see it actually looks very smooth so here's the tag team you're gonna see see how the the tag team came in the assist came in is doing the assist before they go off screen it looks like it looks a little messy only because the animations of the other characters stay on screen for a bit longer there was the tag team but you guys see that right there so that's kind of what i want to know right here so she comes in as a tag team, but you see the health bar up here. They're both getting hit. So you are not invincible coming out and tagging. So if you come out and then you get hit, you see right here, she comes out and then they both get hit in the combo. So right here, boom, boom. He's taking block damage. She's getting hit though. She's the tag character. So again, you're not invincible. For those that have seen a lot of gameplay from Mortal Kombat 1, that's not really a tag team game. It's more of, as we know, as a cameo fighters where we can use another fighter's special moves during our gameplay this is a full-on assist slash tag team game so again when you're coming into that do, do that tag move you're susceptible to attack and we see that in action right here they're getting hit but this big guy is taking i think it's darius is taking the block and then she's off screen right now so he's going absolutely ham i'm assuming some form of super yeah it looks pretty sick but now you know again they're back to just the two of them 1v1 their assists are kind of off screen and he used the super and now the bars and i think that's what it was for if we can go back i think that's what that that was a super bar we saw or maybe i'm wrong no so that bar's already been gone when did that bar go away i want to see oh right here so before this happens they're doing tag teams coming on in when do they use that bar oh right there that's a bro oh they have breaker that's your breaker bar so that's a very good example for like guilty gear strive for example if you play guilty gear at all you know what a burst is a burst is just kind of a get off me mechanic a big de big defensive mechanic and it looks like your tag team or your assist character there your your other your other character uses that ability so he's getting hit and then he yeah, she comes in breaks it so that's also very similar to mortal kombat one's new breaker is your assist fighter comes in and breaks apart the fight that's essentially what happens here so it's kind of a mixture i you know what f it. it's just like mortal kombat one it's, it's just a breaker you, you, your assist your assist character your tag team character walks in breaks apart the fight and then now you have that ready to rock and roll that bar up here looks pretty big meaning i don't know how fast that fills up We'll have to keep an eye on that but depending on how fast that actually fills back up i'm you might be able to use it twice in a full-on you know three round fight so that's your breaker or your burst i'm assuming these are down here for your supers you have two bars again one for each character uh, health bars again up here one for each character so let's go ahead and see him and see if he uses the super because we see the bar down here 
being used yet yeah, now it's up to super one yep that's a super he used it went back down to zero so that is a super move using the bar down there i think it goes up to two i think if you have i think if you have two saved you can do the bigger super if i remember correctly but but first of all oh that's end round right that's end round yeah that's the end of the round so that's kind of that that, uh, that slow animation kind of showcases that's the end of the round and I wonder, is that the end of the round because one of them's down or like can now the other person come back in and finish the fight and hopefully try to go 1v2? But what I do want to know again here is this looks awesome. I love the art style, love the aesthetic. I love the stage, the lighting, the colors. Even the UI is actually pretty sick. So yeah, he, com he, he comes in, Echo, I think it's Echo, comes on in. Look at this, look at this man. He, he's 1v2ing this and they are almost full health. So uphill battle for sure. I think there's a thing here called last stage where i think if you're below yeah right oh yes see so right here last stand ready so you're 1v2ing it i think this is a kind of a comeback mechanic style they've introduced into this game project l and i think if you're the last one standing last stand ready and you're below 50 percent, i think it is you have a, an ability called last stand let's see if he uses it i'm not sure if it's a super nah you got, got red got ko'd right there and then th that duo wins man I, come on high five give me knuckle something all right next fight again this game has progressed so much since the first gameplay we saw earlier last year two years ago this this just looks i'm already so excited this looks finished this looks freaking awesome bro i love the way this looks so far so here's some more tag team character action right here to come out with the move set this boy i think it's darius looks strong as f looks like a freaking looks kind of like reinhardt baby from overwatch okay there's that tag tag him out so now we're getting the other character action here here's echo tagging oh now nope we're back to these guys oh that's the same character duh it's just different skins i was like they look very similar <laughs> it's just alternate colors for the freaking same character so yeah this is a uh, round two and that was that burst bar just got filled up so that first fight they they didn't get it back that first fight but they're getting it back in this second fight so maybe once a round depending on when you use it it looks so far like you're not gonna be able to spam at all you really want to save that like right there that was the burst you guys see that that was again so there it is that's the burst action because they're gonna lose the fight right here he walks in psych burst that break up the fight but now he's also tagged in so it looks like the burst mechanic can be utilized to bring in or tag in your next character or your friend and i think he uses the super two which is the heavier super yet yeah, there it is and this is because he got the both bars and this is a strong i think the two is the highest this is a very powerful super yeah as you saw that that health went way down and then this is her super if it hits it does not oh it hit the tag not the actual person i wonder if that matters or not like will it do the full animation or just the damage so now we're on to round three and as you see here the breakers are kind of all the way down almost so there they don't refill that fast again look at these moves oh there's another super it connects look i love that that looks so good dude i noticed over here on the left side for this team they have the super two and i, I don't know if it goes to three I, th I thought two was the highest but i want to see if this super meter goes up to no so they use the two they oh they got missed they're gonna use the number one miss that again look at that so the assist the tag team or the tag character echo came in jumped over and kind of cut on that side that is some pressure so if you have the animation and have the time it looks like your assist character can come over behind your opponent and i'm assuming like most fighting games this fighting game is going to be holding down and back or just back for blocking and if you have two opponents on each side of you you can only block one of them you can't just hold a block button like mortal kombat and just block everything so that's gonna be insane pressure and just absolutely disgusting so let's see how this fight ends you got a big combo coming off of echo eight nine ten hits assist coming in to finish it off seven. oh look at that so that right there was a great example of a combo coming in from a character so there, there's the first hit right there ending off of the tag team for the fight so this combo starts look at this right here half the health about like i'm guessing 50 percent health right now i didn't see a super it's an interrupt which means like it's kind of like a, a punish i'm guessing so interrupt is punish he punished him thus getting the uh the frame rate on that and be able to do this combo bounced him up assist coming in to finish off the fight oh my gosh 17 hits i don't know what to tell you guys this game looks freaking awesome i know we're not very this i know this game isn't coming out anytime soon i i wish it was this year i wish it might be uh, you know maybe it's next year i'm hoping for next year it wouldn't be surprising if they did 2025 but that seems kind of far away with how polished this game really looks i mean street fighter 6 launched with 18 characters you don't even need you know a 20 30 character 
character roster game to launch if they did 15 18 characters that's a pretty solid roster and they have so many characters to draw from obviously but from what i'm seeing here i mean honestly it looks really good it's intriguing to see the tag team kind of go at it and like you can get hit as a tagger coming in to do your combo you can still get hit so essentially if you time it right as the aggressor you can hit both of your opponents at the same exact time and maybe even win the game like that like if they're both less than 10 percent and they try to do an assist combo on you just to hit them both combo and both while they're out and then just win the game with no last stand needed from your opponents as a fighting game lover i can tell you right now i absolutely see the potential in this game and it's gonna be just a freaking blast i'm so glad they're showing us more gameplay showing us more of the mechanics i can't wait to see more of the characters the stages the story if you're a fighting game lover i'm sure you're gonna absolutely love this game even though it's a tag team i know the tag team assist kind of game is not everyone's cup of tea even if you are a fighting game fan but at least it's still a 1v1 like you're not doing you know two two three three like you're able to tag in your opponent but right here we're seeing a 1v1 you're just able to use kind of like Mortal Kombat 1's doing you're able to use your friendlies you know your tag your sister that you can use their special moves or whatever it may be and of course tag in your friend if you want to which I think is super cool because like that means I can train against my friends but then also train with my friends and I'm excited to see all the possibilities man if you guys are excited for Project L or you have concerns let me know your thoughts down below what are you looking forward to what are you skeptical about about. Again, let me know. I'm really interested to see your guys' thoughts. With that said, subscribe here for more fighting game content and take it one step at a time.